Hello everybody and welcome to Total Annihilation Replays. I am here to bring you the Ono Tournament, the late night Ono Tournament, um, which I let you guys know about in the um, in a post here recently. Let me just make sure that we are good. Okay. Okay, should have cleaned up the desktop before I started. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, so the kids are in bed, and I have done, I think, enough chores to placate my wife for the evening. And she's out, which means I actually get to uh, I get to talk here. So we've got the um, tournament on its way here for tonight. Now, right now, currently as it stands, I think we've got six people signed up, which is more than enough to uh to get this going um and this is just the typical like late night crowd that we've got here we got tasto sergeant serve um myself star value these are just people who usually will come on at this time of day and play so rather than doing our team games that we normally fill our uh fill our time with we um we're gonna do a quick uh ono tournament so and i'll try and make these you know kind of regular thing um i'll do them even if i um like can't stream them um and I'll, I'll host them up and, and get it going. So uh, for those who are curious, um, this is where, based on seating, uh, this is the brackets as they stand. Um, so uh, the first round is actually scheduled. We're going to be doing the cold place. Second one is coast to coast, and the final will be on Rorschach. Okay, we... Okay, so we'll get... So it looks like Elixir is going to be joining us today. All right. And we may have another. Oh, yeah. Um, there we go. There we go. So Taste is letting some people know about it, too. So we'll see who gets going. Let me go ahead and get Elixir added to the... Uh, it's good to see him back. Actually, he hasn't played in a while. Um, get him added to the bracket. All right. Participants. I don't think he's ranked. So uh, the seating for this tournament is done based on um, your pro TA ladder rank, 1v1 ladder rank. So you come here and you're in TAF. You go over here to the pro TA 1v1 uh, ladder and you'll see everyone's got a rank. Uh, and where you rank on that will determine where you get to um, where you end up. for the seating. So uh, we're officially scheduled to start now, but we'll wait a little bit because I don't know if F40 is going to be joining. If he does, then that puts us at a nice round eight. Um, and we'll give uh, enough time for the stragglers to show up because I actually, oh, okay, Sergeant Sheriff just came on. All right. Um, hey, Sawyer. Sawyer, are you going to um, join? <laughs> no metal maps today. I'm, I'm sorry, but um, you're welcome to join. Actually, we're still taking sign up. Star Valley, good to see you. I trust you won't be stream sniping me um, while I, because uh, I will, I will stream my games. Uh, I am in this one. Um, if we end up with like nine people and it ends up being awkward, I can sit out. But um, or Timmy might might volunteer to sit out because it's late for. I know it's late for him on the East Coast. And unlike Serve and I, we didn't. You know, he didn't have any kids to put to bed, so he's got to be much much more tired than we are. I, I get this weird second wind after the kids are in bed because then I'm like, wow, I can do whatever I want. And then it's a, like, well, what what is it that I want to do? So. Um, oh, yeah, Scotty Lutz. Scotty Lutz going to play? We'll just see if we can get any 
ask anybody who's around. <laughs> this is a very low, uh, what do you call it? Um, low commitment. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay I understand some people being a little nervous to jump into the uh, to the tournament field we'll give it a few more minutes here um, so the tournament's going to be played on Protea 4.6 uh, which is the latest version um, I will, you know, I should actually link that in the description uh, for all who are watching this either now or, or later, so if that's something you want to grab. Cool thing about uh, Protea, of course, is that even if you are not a competitive, uh, um, okay, so if F40's out. <laughs> Taste it, we don't have any elite players. That's right, none of us are elite. Um... Let's see if we can convince Scotty to bail us out here. The brackets as they stand. Yeah, Walker, I don't know if he'll play or not. Because I would I would love to get to play some TCP. That would be fun. I haven't played it in a while. Um, but as it stands, I would get a, a first round buy here, um, as I am currently the highest ranked. I was thinking, I was hoping uh, uh, Stag or, or Divine would show up. They're higher ranked than me. Um, it would be excellent, of course, to have a, a tournament game here involving the best. Uh, for those who have your bingo card, you can go ahead and check that one off. Divine's always hit or miss at this time. Like sometimes he'll pop on like at eleven o'clock, my time, and be like, "Oh my goodness, Divine!" <laughs> like, I think he's, I think he's East Coast. So if I'm sitting out the first round, then uh, what I will do is, um, I'll pick a pick a game to watch for us so i'm probably the serve star value game is going to be pretty pretty tight um i could also see if gamma wants to join oh wait we got another message here Stream all three games at the same time. Yes, Sawyer, I will. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't know if I can split screen it like that. Uh, if that's even possible, um, we'll wait just a few more minutes here, and then I know I keep saying that. Uh, and I think, yeah, I did already go through the maps here. Cold Place, Coast to Coast, Rorschach. These are the pro versions of the uh, of the OTA maps, so they're a little more balanced. Although we could just go and do these the uh, the old uh, OG. Um, you know, TA 3.1 core contingency uh, uh, maps for these, and these would work. Um, but I think the pro versions are a little cleaner. Um, and TCP is technically not balanced, although it played well enough from both sides that no one really, no one really mind what was bothered too much by that. So yeah, so if I could just convince one, convince one more person, then actually maybe Gamma sometimes. Gamma sometimes can get on at this night, this time of night. He's saying something.
All right, yeah, we'll start in two minutes here. I know this is very exciting listening to the uh, the background sounds here. Um, I may need to take a break sometime too in the middle of this, which I know will be most upsetting. Um, this is what uh, what editing is for. It's so you're always hated. Uh, yeah, the the old school one v one maps. Yep. Uh, I I've always loved coast to coast. Um, so I didn't. That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, what were some popular OTA maps that weren't um, GPP or Gods of War? That was kind of what I was thinking. And I was like, okay, well, TCP was really popular. Coast to Coast was super popular. Rorschach was less popular, but every now and then you'd see a game on it. Um, probably I would have done, you know, John, I should, probably should have done John's Pass if I were going to stay truly within the theme, but I wanted something a little, a little different. So. Yeah, Coast to Coast is very, uh, bombers are nice there. Yeah, Lush Puppy, I didn't want to throw that one in there because then people would have been like, oh, you're just picking... Um, oh, yeah, Lava High Ground, although that sometimes ends up in a, a calm collision in the middle. Um, it can get really messy. Okay, we are at 9-10, so we're going we're gonna to officially start the tournament then. I'm going to go ahead and press the button to get it going. All right, now I can press the right button. Okay, so hopefully people will use the right name on it. So if you are on TAF at some other time, so you don't even really want to play, but you want to come and check some stuff out, you can go here, go to replays, um, and then right over here, um, the title, you can just search for um, the late night uh, Ono, and then you can come check out the games that happened. So, yep, there we go, Ark versus Timmy. Um, um, and serve. Huh. Huh. 
star value saying he was temporarily banned from um, those. Uh, judging by the bracket here, I think top seeds, I think the upset is going to happen here. Star value is probably a little low, low ranked relative to serve. Server's going to be solid, but this is a smaller, tighter map. Server's gotten pretty darn good at building. I don't know if he's going to be as good at the kind of rush raid game that that Cold Place is likely to be. But if Serve can lock it up, um, then I think he's going to have uh, have some uh, a good time here. Although Star Value might still be listening, so <laughs> stream sniping. Oh yeah, yeah. I have I was Lush Puppy was one of my my favorites and it was one of the maps I typically picked back then. So All right, just need Tasto versus um Tasto versus Elixir to come up. Yeah, bomber, bomber first on Lush Puppy. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, Dark. Yeah, feel free to hop back in when uh, when the game's done. Oh, okay. <laughs> For Nick, I'm willing to make uh, special uh, special accommodations. Nick loves Rorschach too, so um, that'd be fun to see him play that. That's assuming he would make it to the finals. All right, whoever's game gets going here. Okay, there they go. So it looks like serve and star value is getting set up. Hopefully serve's not having connection issues. I do not want to have to make a ruling on a game tonight. That would be very, very annoying. set to zero delay just for instant replay for somebody who wants to hop on and watch all right it looks like we have one game staged another game staged Ark and Timmy look like they're about to launch Tasto Elixir's got the game hosted up. Let me ping Tasto. There we go. So yeah, I think we'll try and watch Star Valley versus Serve. I think that's probably going to be our best matchup here. No offense to to the other players. Um, Ark is definitely solid, um, but Timmy is just going to have way more experience um, than uh, than Ark on this map, and I think that's that's what's going to come into play here. Also, Timmy's pretty fast on these smaller maps. Um, it's the big building maps where Timmy tends to go to be a little weaker.
I hope this is just showing like my ping to serve and not their ping to each other. Okay, Timmy versus Ark is underway. Sergeant Serve still trying to figure out if Star Valley is okay with the delay. <laughs> just launch it, Serve. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like having to set out of the first round here. But, hey, we got seven people. I was actually, my son was asking me, he's like, oh, how many people do you need? I'm like, if there are four people, we're going to do this. Um, so, fortunately, we got uh, we got seven. So, beat that number. So they're underway. I might just jump in and watch. Watch Ark versus Timmy then if um, they haven't launched yet. Just to entertain you, the people. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, the uh, six uh, six forty by forty resolutions of the, the. I mean, the cold place was a massive map. Uh, dark side was was medium sized. Okay. All right. Looks like they have started. So we'll go ahead and we'll fire up the watcher here. No. Nope. Yes. Yeah, by getting a massive monitor, cranking up the resolution till your commander is absolutely tiny. All right, both Star Valley and Sergeant Serve are going in as core on the cold place. Um, there are a lot of different ways to start this map, so I'm interested to see how either of them do it. Star and Serve are relatively new players um, to the online scene, and so it will be interesting to see if they are familiar with some of the uh the kind of cheese starts that can happen on this map so the cold place right here as you can see it is very bright and probably burning your eyes um, that's just the way the uh, the non-eclipse sun bounces off the snow here you see sir this is uh, setting his dither so that way his eyes don't melt out of his face All right, so star value, one win, two mexes, going into uh, three wins. Serve walking three mexes. Um, as for me, like one of the one of the easy cheese things, if somebody's walking three, is you get your vehicle plant down really fast and get a weasel out. So you either do a single wind to vehicle plant, or you do double wind vehicle plant and then go from there. And you can start rushing out weasels really really fast, kind of getting it to show up um, right almost right when they are finishing their vehicle plant. Um, Surf here going for a relatively slow build. But this is nice. He's going to have a decent amount of metal in his stockpile to be able to crank units out. So when I play this, oftentimes I will do a similar build to what Surf's doing if I'm not planning on rushing. The other thing, of course, you could do is air is viable here. Um, an air with bomber with the fast reclaim um, or the weasel rush. So those are the three main ways to start this in OTA. In Pro-TA, also going K-Bots is viable here too. So you can see Star, because he only walked two mexes, you can see he's got his vehicle plant down and a con out by the time Serve's uh, vehicle plant fires up. So getting this out to protect himself from the weasels, again, not a bad idea. He's got a slasher out too. That'll help protect from any weasel raiding that Sergeant Serve decides to bring to the table. You see here now in uh, Protea, um, the wind and tidal values are displayed at the top along with the clock. So the clock is no longer down here on the bottom left. Let's 
single slasher from star value and he walked his commander over to cap another max both hovering around plus six metal star value jumps up to 7.5 i think because yeah he finished this max right here so he's a little bit ahead um sergeant serve got his protection down here his weasel protection fortunately that con was a, a little idle he's going two cons and slashers from star value so does he have a single con right now yeah cons are incredibly important slashers are a defensive unit there is a very aggressive way to play slashers on this map um, and i am a big fan of it but building a ton of cons and doing your best cool neck impression um, and farming a gazillion wins is another way to play this one too so and i think serve could uh serve could make that happen if he wanted to he's got his plant idle right now you can see he's really low on metal so he may have just been waiting on that He's going slashers too, again, kind of just a defensive game from both of them. So I like to see a little, even at this point in the game, you want to throw out a, a Weasley, as they're known on BreezyCast, uh, to go uh, take a peek and just see what they're up to. So if you drive in and you see he's got a bunch of instigators, so you can say, okay, all right, I'll play the counter game um, with, my, uh, with my slashers. The other thing too is they're not sending any scouts down here on the south. Just to see, uh, you can see he's got a protection against a uh, weasel, but it's very easy to run up uh, the side here and sneak around and just get in and start doing some damage. Slasher's moving forward. If you're doing this kind of thing, you can just target the mexes. Uh, star value at 12 and a half metal at this point. Uh, his con's been a little more busy, although Sergeant Serve has more cons to his name. I would expect him to catch back up. I think account sergeant serve using his radar star value what he can do is he can take you can grab these two slashers hit guard on this one and then they'll return fire yeah sawyer says not enough flashes boring game um you see in the commentator world nothing's ever boring everything is always amazing and exciting what you say when you mean to say boring is you say they're being cautious or careful um some kind of uh alternative all right so slasher numbers you can see sawyer's a little bit ahead of course but he's because he's been cranking pushing them out he hasn't doesn't have another con up he's got two down to the south one two three four five six seven eight nine if he gets this con up front he can get his radar going you see sergeant serves doing that right here working on the radar he's pushed out a fifth con i believe um and he is stalling because he just took the lead there and i would say they're probably pretty even yep each at two and a half thousand so if uh star value isn't able to press the advantage with the slashers here that he currently has he's going to be in trouble because serve's just going to get ahead of him on building sergeant serve already has cons all the way down to the bottom plenty of radar up not much by way of protection, and I think he's a little short on E, and he's building another con. I would not do that if I were him. Although he could just be saying, oh, okay, well, he's slashers, I'm slashers, then I'll just see if I can outbuild him. There you go. So now he's got his windrows started, continuing to expand down here. 18 metal now to Sergeant Serve to star values. 15 it looks like star value's got his own radar up so and the radar targeting of the slashers begins yeah neither side building any raiding units or instigators to send down around to the other side he's now got another con on this to really improve increase his uh slasher output See right now, one, two, three, four dead slashers um, on the star value side. Uh, Sergeant Serves lost two. So even though, there you go, and more. So Sergeant Serves is doing a little better job on the radar targeting here. And he comes up and he can actually grab these um, built max. <laughs> Another con from Sergeant Serves, just really expanding star value with a idle con down here on the south side.
a little more protection than Sergeant Surf has. Just completely open. A pair of instigators running through the south would completely mess things up. But Sergeant Surf, good job here coming up, picking up the metal. Um, certainly going to be advantage Sergeant Surf at this point. Just has more build power too. Wind is really good here. That's how Star Valley is able to power that uh, uh, metal maker. So you can see repairing a slasher. Oh, it looks like he lost his radar, so he's just randomly firing. That was what's going on there. So just looking at the map right here, Sergeant Serve is in much better shape. He's got his wind rows going. Uh, got all his mechs capped. Had these capped for longer. Sergeant Serve, 1,000 metal up at this point. So this right here, he's got enough coverage to <laughs> cap that. If you want to start throwing random missile towers someplace, put it down here to prevent the, a raid from coming through and ruining your day. Sergeant Sir's got more build power on his vehicle plants. We will be able to produce these a little faster. This is going to really help, though. When you're doing a slasher war like this, Getting missile towers kind of built in and mixed in. They have slightly longer range. They sit higher up. They're easier. It's easier for them to shoot over the wrecks. So, yeah, Sergeant Serve is in a position here to really just kind of lock up the top, which it looks like that's what he's doing. He's got lots of metal in the bank. Star Value does two, um, and Star Value is completely out of E. He's bottomed out, and he hasn't turned these off. Building his second vehicle plant. Um, adding a con on your vehicle plant basically doubles its build speed. See, Star Value's gotten ahead on the unit count here. Now, if a bunch of uh, missile towers appear behind this, it's going to be really tough for Star Value to press in. Another con from Sergeant Serve. I think that's a no this is an okay time to start producing more of those. See, he's got some metal makers down. 9,000 metal now, Sergeant Serve extending his lead. Good job by Star Value to bring a con up, start collecting that metal. That's something you want to do here. See, it takes a lot of missile hits to bring down a con. Star Value is focusing on one there. And he gets it, but Sergeant Serve has more of those to lose than Star Value does. There you go. Here's This is going to be the difference maker. Star Value cranking out some instigators. And if he sends those down south... Yeah, Sergeant Serve is kind of slowed up. He's kind of yielding this middle. And he is choosing to go advanced with his with his advantage. I'm if Star Value sees this, realizes how weak Sergeant Serve is down on the south side, he's able to get in there with some instigators. It's gonna completely shake up the game. Let's see here now these Sergeants are completely dug in. Plenty of missile towers. He's not going to be able to press in with just slashers at this point. You can drive some flashes or gators in this situation kind of along in here and sneak out over the water. That's something that's uh, that's possible. So there you go. Three instigators here on the south side now. This is not enough missile towers to handle that. Although by the time the instigators get down here, there will be enough to deal with them. Decent rec field right here. Star Value has easier access to it. Sergeant Serve having a little trouble keeping up. And advance going down from Star Value as well. Again, this is going to be very nice for Star Value. Might even give him, catch him back up if, uh, if Sergeant Serve does not contest. Four Gators headed south. Mm, there's not enough here to deal with it. Sir, looks like he might be making a move. 
that's one thing you can do too if you realize your opponents built a bunch of missile towers missile towers do not move if you can kind of shift the position of the battle sergeant serve doing a good job cleaning up that metal right there he's got his advance done star value is stalling not stalling as well he's stalling on e is what is what he's doing he doesn't have this set up count one two three instigators on the south side he should be able to, especially if he goes all the way down here, he's going to be able to sneak by. Nice job by Sergeant Surf here. He's starting to take these tickies out. There we go, he gets one. Star Valley seems to have forgotten about his uh, south side instigators. Now this wreck field, he can come down here and claim all of that. And he is going straight reapers. Did he get a Kana? Yes, he did. So he can. he's probably going to try and cap some uh, some mohos here. Maybe get an advance radar up. Star Valley is still not done with his advance. And let's see if Sar Sergeant, they don't have, uh, neither the Sergeant Sir doesn't have share map, uh, map position on. And he loses his south side con. This is quite the development here. And this is just not enough down here to deal with um, the small amount of forces that uh, Starbucks has, but uh, Sergeant Sher is definitely pushing it up top. Count one Reaper. Sergeant Sher putting out more cons. The Gator found its way in the middle here only to get slaughtered by the slashers. This is, if you're gonna do this in Protier, uh, Raiders. They have really tough, Raiders are excellent slasher counters. Um, they will really mess up someone's day. Starting to serve slowing down uh, on the slasher production. That's because he was pushing out some cons. He's now 3K metal up. But this nice little patch here going to Star Value, and now, um, so Star Value is sitting around 25 to Sergeant Serves 27, so we're still pretty close. I like this move. Uh, Crocs from Star Value. He's going to drive him right up in here, and Crocs are incredibly strong. Two Reapers. Con down here next to some juicy resources. It's like the players have forgotten that the bottom half of the map exists. In come the Reapers, and they will start shredding slashers. But if he just lets them sit there, the slashers will take them out. Here come a pair of crocs that is more than enough to come in here and ruin Sergeant Serves Day. Good job by Sergeant Sir to catch up on the E. I think this is kind of in reaction to the Reapers. The thing with these missile towers is, unlike the Slashers, can kite away and slowly take down those Reapers. Um, Ubis is not where you want to send them. He's got to send them across the lake. If he, oh, there he goes. Okay, good. Here comes the instigator raid. You can see they're quickly taking down those missile towers. This is really gonna hurt. So yeah, starting to start doing the wrong uh, wrong mechs here. Star is probably wondering, well, why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> 
Is there damage, but he is now free to completely clean up Sergeant Sir's south side. Sergeants are quickly throwing down some missile towers to try and deal with the uh, deal with that, but these cons are going to run into some serious underwater trouble here. Excellent job by Star Valley to take advantage of the map. This is the right move by Sergeant Sir. If you're getting pressed and you're having trouble on one part of the map, then it's possible that your opponent is weak in another. So, Let's see the Crocs just able to tank the missiles. Now the Reapers, though, are completely pushing the Slashers out of the way. Sergeant Sir moving his own Slashers into control of the territory. The wreck field will now be his. If Star finds this E, which I think he's probably going to do... Sergeant Sir moving his comm over to D-Gun and deal with the problem that way. Fortunately, that means his Reapers are just sitting here getting long range to death. There he goes, okay. Sergeant Sir moving over to cover his E. If he deguns those two crocs, he's going to try and protect his con. Gets one of the crocs, most of the instigators. One croc still alive. More instigators just coming around the bottom. Sergeant Sir attack failed here and left a large amount of metal for uh, um, for Star Valley to recover. I'm going to clean up that one, Max. Now you can see the uh, the name of the game is is uh, shifted a little bit here. This is where some levelers would have been nice from uh, Sergeant Sir. Yeah, Sergeant Sir loves him some, um, loves him the uh, the Reapers. But I'm a fan of, of getting some levelers out for the for the fact of that they're just fast. Um, a pack of levelers running around through here would just be absolutely devastating. Sergeant Sir's wind situation is now pretty dire. I'll have to shut off some of his um, metal makers. Oh, well, no, he doesn't. Looks like he's still accessible. Commander is sitting idle at this point. Two mohos up. And now things have shifted here. Star value is looking like he's in pretty good shape. Ooh, nice shot there by Sergeant Serve. Does he have advanced, does he have advanced radar up? He does. See the Reapers, when they're not moving, they're not doing work. Sergeant Serve probably feels like he's in rough shape, but he is, well, he is because of this wreck field, but um, and the unit count here is starting to favor star value too. But he is not out of this yet. Sergeants are still up by three, but you can see that's more than 3k right here in the rack field that's been yielded. And so Star Value looks like is actually going to be able to press through on this one. Got more gators from the south side. Sergeant Serve slow on the D-Gun there. I understand why. He doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to blast his own guys. Star Value finally hooking some wins. It looks like Sergeant Serve was just able to bring up his own Reapers and stop that push. The funny thing is, is Star Value thinking of those crocs and sending them over. Um, that's still an option for Sergeant Surf. So you got to be careful what uh, ideas you give your enemies.
Raiders fine choice for down here. Although capping that would be good. Also, if you do this kind of thing to your opponent, get some cons in here and start taking over. Make them make the territory yours. Looks like Goliaths from Star Value. I don't I don't necessarily agree with that call, although they have great range. They are incredibly expensive. When I play TCB, this is one of the things I like to do, is just get a single lab, slow build a bunch of stuff down here until I have a big enough ball to, to make an attack and then have enough cons to back it up for the push. Goliath comes in. Yeah, Goliath will shred slashers if they, and slow moving units. You can see the issue with Goliath there is how often they miss. So it's still though, and it just chunks the, chunks the damage. Luger's from Sergeant Serve. Again, I, I'd, I'd like to see him return the favor with the Crocs. Building a handful of missile towers. Raiders are great at taking down missile towers. This is a good thought, but I just don't think he's he's kind of in charge of the front enough to or really have it locked down enough to where he needs to start moving into artillery. Again, like for the cost of of um, you know one of these reapers here, he could have a pair of levelers, um, which would give him nice advantage. Now the artillery is pretty cheap. That's the nice thing about it. Incoming Raiders, he's got his radar up at this point, so we should be able to start shooting them. But unfortunately, no, they're going to get right in on there. And then I think you might not even, you're going to see one Raider go down, and then they're gonna, he's going to tear apart this wall of missile towers. One raider lost. This is the weakness of the artillery too, is if you're shooting at units and he pulls them back, which he's doing right here, these they're gonna get sucked into these missile towers. This should be enough to solve the problem. He did unfortunately lose the cons. If he uh, star value had turned right here, he would have uh, been able to take out Sergeant Sir's Mohos. Gets another con. Still hasn't moved in to take over this territory yet. It's a nice little metal deposit though. The other games may, well, possibly will have finished by now. Um, so I probably should let them know if their game is done, they can move on to the next one. This is the game that I'm waiting on. I play the winner of this match. This is gonna hurt. Star value now at 46 mental. He's probably overtaken Sergeant Sir. Nope, still 1k behind, but he's quickly moving ahead. Needs a heavy laser tower and doomsday machine down here. Sergeant Sir picks up a con.
We had a bit of a connection issue there. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, uh, <laughs> good to see you. I could have done, I could have picked a Rage Gamer one. I went with uh, um, kind of OT, OTA maps. Um, newer, the pro, TA, pro versions of them is what I went with. Getting this Moho is going to be a nice big hit against Sergeant Serve here. Again, levelers, levelers, levelers. <laughs> Sergeant Serve really breaking in here on the south, though. Toaster coming up from Star Value to try and handle that issue. I like that he's not he's not giving up, um, just being relentless on his attack. Fortunately, though, he needs to keep his slashers back to protect his um, artillery assets. This is a big enough force here that. Um, Star Valley could possibly push through here. Yeah, maybe one of these late night onos will be a it'll be a Rage Gamer map special. We'll do all Rage Gamer maps. Star Valley moving this one lone con up here to try and take over. Starting to serve with a large amount of artillery. Bringing the Reapers up to protect them. Star Value moving this gun further forward. I think that's the right call. He's got all these big wrecks here to reclaim too. Let's get that cannon up. At this point too, you can start thinking about putting down a, an Intimidator. Something to win the game. We are at 30 minutes. Just have my serve here, just kind of bottling them up with the Reapers, so that way the artillery can do the work. That's where the real damage is coming from. And this is where, like, raiders are a really good unit for this. Let's see the effectiveness of these. Villagers, four kills, three kills, five, four, one. So, they're doing work. It's just, Star Valley is now way ahead in the resource game, too. You see, he's got his mohos up. He's capping the mohos down here. Certain is just really not trying to expand too much further beyond down south here. He's got more than enough MTs, plus he needs to recap that. on K-Bots. We might be doing that for build power, it looks like. Just trying to hose up a bunch of hose out a bunch of cons. He's recovered his slasher amount. Toaster creep coming in. Sorry for this, real quick. Sergeant Serve's artillery numbers are starting to get whittled down. And it looks like Star Value and his uh, his attack persistence here. And just really the smart moves. The Crocs coming in, being aggressive on the south side. Um, that's what's saving here.
Oho taken out. There'll be some nice metal there for Sergeant Serve. I don't know if we'll be able to use it enough for him to recover. He's got his deleter up, radar jammer. Sergeant Serve likes to do that for his artillery creeps. You can see just the sheer number of units. Sergeant Serve, I think, maybe moving up to try and take out the uh, cannon that was just established. Yep, he's shooting the toaster. He's guarding it. It is getting brought down pretty quick. But Sergeant Serve sees it. He's brought his Goliath up. Starts taking out their artillery. It is not going to be enough. Sergeant Sir is in big trouble. Another advanced lab going down from Star Value now, who's just really shot ahead in the economy. 74 to 61. And there it is. Star Value has broken through. He's into Sergeant Sir's back line. At this point, he just needs to press in, see if he realizes it. Or if he pulls, <laughs> if he pulls back, that would not be a good call. But he is. He appears to be uh, regrouping. Sergeant Serve is now just a nest of missile towers and winds. I understand Star Value doesn't want to overcommit, um, but he should have radar up. He doesn't. He doesn't. Have it. He doesn't. He's got a, a con up here. He just needs to get that radar coverage going. He would see that that he's basically there. He's knocking on Sergeant Serve's front door. AK's going in. They're really not going to do much of anything. Go for storms or thuds. Might just be using them for, for spotting, but they just don't last long enough. Looks like Star Value doesn't have enough melee units up front here. He's going to drop his artillery to the Reapers. Let's see how much work this Reaper is going to do here. Five kills already. This is doing Goliath out of one factory, artillery out of another. Another attack coming through on the south side. This is a nice little line of mist towers, but it's not going to be enough. DDM going down now. This is the other thing too, air units do exist. <laughs> it's a nice wreck field down here. All he's got to do is swing one of his uh, KBOT cons over there to grab it. And that can help put him back in better shape. See, so yeah, it's when you get full range of those missile towers, they're much more deadly.
not the best attack angle there from star value. Kind of running right into this nest and depositing the metal for Sergeant Sir to clean up later. There you go, he's got a con up with those Reaper wrecks too for 378. It's like Hill Factory almost. Probably still lacking, I think, in the radar department on the front here, yeah. E-storage, plenty of metal makers. I think Sergeant Service wind collection has... is not increasing the same way it needs to. I think he might be in range. Okay, not quite, not quite in range of those missile towers. He's got the Goliaths now, he can push in. Carvalho not doing the best job here in replacing his mexes with the mohos. But building a cannon. One of the new things about Prote 4.6 is you now have directional build on your intimidators. So they're not always defaulted facing down, meaning that you can point them in the direction. So you don't have to wait that 30 seconds for the rotation. Doomsday Machine. Knocking on Sergeant Sir's front door. All these wrecks still available here. It's one thing too, like a toaster, put it right about here, will wipe out your entire defense. Scouts going in. He'll probably realize that how little Sergeant Surf has at this point. He does, it looks like. Well, nope, not quite. Yeah, it's tough to know, like when when do you commit? When do you try and to go in and finish the job? Here we go. Big gun isn't done yet, but it's not going to matter. Sergeant Sir's north side defenses have collapsed. He's got enough on the south side to hold against the small attack, but the main thrust here is going to do the job. Looks like he's just reclaiming his labs. <laughs> Oh, and going for a stroll. Says permitted, it's after five minutes, he's able to cross the halfway if he wants to. Let's put the ship here. Big resources now here. This one con from Star Value. <laughs> A pair of weasels could have found it and prevented all of this from happening. But that's 
the way the game goes. Sergeant Sir is going to be running out of energy real quick. The big gun is up. Good evening, Meal Solutions Gaming. It's good to see you, sir. Welcome to the late night. I'm sad you were unable to join us tonight. I shan't share, I shan't share the reason why. Um, so, uh, some type of matters are, are private, unless you're okay with it. Um, but yes, it would have been fun to have you. That's why my, my announcement was, uh, Dads, get your kids to bed. <laughs> there you go, the Timmy takes out the... Uh, um, takes out the shipyard and Sergeant Sir says GG and that's game. Alrighty. <laughs> Sir says well played, he should have won air. Yeah, it was definitely a good game. Uh, this was close. Uh, I picked the, I picked the right one to watch. We go victory to star value well we'll see how the rest of the bracket shaped up um next map is coast to coast and so my opponent will be star value and then we will see who is playing on the other side of the ledger um we'll see if i can exit this way so we can check out the um the resources That was quite the game. Less way longer than I expected. Uh, there you go. You can see the final resources here. Metal produced. And the excess. Oh, okay. Um, that's unfortunate to hear, Mr. Meal Solutions, about your own uh, uh, case of disease. Uh, all right, so Tamey versus Tasto in the next round. Um, let's see. We've got the bracket here. Star value, the winner. And so he is up against me, so I will go ahead and host it. Um, we're going to change this to... Oh, that's not it. See if I can hop in to voice here with uh, with the good sergeant serve. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on, I'll hop in here. Hello there, Sergeant Serve. Hello. Welcome to Total Annihilation Replays. Yeah, thanks for having me. That was a fantastic, uh, fantastic game there. Um, I liked your build better, but I was, 
uh, didn't he? Uh, Star Valley had the clever tricks there. Um, it was uh, it was pretty neat. Yeah, I needed to push my advantage early. I think I had a little bit of an advantage early, and I didn't push it enough. Didn't reclaim the wreck path enough, and then yeah, you, you took were advantage. Up, you were up by like a good. You had several. You had more cons. You had more territory, um, and I think you just kind of stopped um, pushing really with your with your cons and i think a handful like two gators on the south just kind of hunting around looking for what was going on down there you would have found that that middle area worth of metal was yours just for the taking you could just walk right up to it Um, yeah i couldn't keep up with managing everything yeah i saw that i was like i could see as like i bet he's starting to feel the uh, pressure of being overwhelmed because you're doing a great job just being brutal with the radar targeting on the top side but then eventually that kind of slowed up as you were as you were building so yeah, I'm I'm debating like at some point you you almost need a second T1 vehicle plant just so you can have a little more variety in your units. But I had to so so intensely radar target just to keep the pre- some kind of pressure in place. Mr. Star Value, welcome, welcome. I'm currently streaming to the interwebs. So, so uh, can you hear me? I yes, can I can. Work. I can hear you. So although right. we'll hop out for for our game for when you join because it'll be you versus me i see sergeant server already informed you that this is one of my favorite maps and he is correct (laughs) yeah i don't see it going too well but i'll try well that's what we're that's what we're here for i didn't just pick it because it's one of my favorites i did pick it um basically (laughs) well because i was picking some of the more popular uh original total annihilation maps um that weren't gods of war or gas plant plane so I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. So that was the uh, coast to coast was one of the one of the popular maps from back in the day. So and you um, just happened to get on it. I it's one of the few that I, I happen to be okay at. Okay, okay is, is an understatement. I did I do very well at it. <laughs> liar, so, liar. Well, this is the thing is though. So if you I have already talked to big game now. So if you win and you get the upset on this, then you know standing ovation. Um, it doesn't matter. color tan. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you um, if you even win the final after that. After that, it's it's just. <laughs> I'll be the tournament organizer. I'll be happy with that. Yep. So, alrighty, are you ready to uh, hop in here, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get it started. Sure. Yeah, I have a question. Go ahead, Mr. Sergeant. Serve. Star, have you played Coast to Coast before? I probably have in skirmish. I don't know if I've played it online. Hmm. Well, so I, well, I know roughly <laughs> what to do, but it probably won't end too well. I um, I have I played a many games here, so yeah, I played for it's very entertaining. I have, yeah, so cool. Well, I'll hop out yeah. of voice here, so that way we can uh, we can get it going, and I'll uh, good luck and have fun. All right. All right, Chad. I'd better not lose. <laughs> I'm gonna be in so much trouble if I lose this one. Which is possible. It's a small map, so really, it's one of those things where you know one one thing goes wrong and and anything could happen. So we'll go ahead and fire this up. Got Timmy versus Tasto on the other side of the bracket. Um, again, Timmy's OTA experience, I think, is going to be what um, what helps him here. No, Sawyer, you are wrong. Oh, yeah, there's a gazillion openings. You're right, but there's only one opening that wins. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to do... How impatient do I want to be? Okay, I'm going to be be patient. Because he's newer at this, I'm kind of expecting some what you'd call an orthodox standard strategy is to get on land, reclaim to sea, get skeets, um, and uh, other stuff out. Hmm. Okay. Don't know what the issue is there. I'll go ahead and turn on shoot all. Um, and 
you're like, oh, K-Bots, that's normal for Protea. That's normal for OTA on this one. Two skeets in a sub, that was pretty common too. Really the goal being to push the other person out, but subs can get really easily or easy to degun, especially in this bay right here. The subs are really vulnerable. This is where I, I can hear the collective groan of those watching. <laughs> so yeah, standard is you build, you know, three three cons and then you uh, reclaim your lab out of E. I mean, you get in the sea really fast. Yes, Crusaders are good here, but that is typically not how I play it. Okay, so now we got our tree income. Let's throw down another wind. Well, yeah, I know, so the sub isn't going to give vision on land, but you are also, um, you're talking old school strategies here, and uh, there is a channel on, my, there is a video on my YouTube channel on how I play this, uh, how I played this in OTA. So if you're curious, go ahead and take a peek. I'm going to, accessing this E, the sweet, sweet E that I'm getting now. I'm actually going to, you know what, I am being a little cocky. I didn't properly prepare. Okay, so he's picking up some trees, but <laughs> Mega Map's just mad. <laughs> yes. I should have um, some air defense up. These two guys are going to take care of that. So my combo will take care of the other one. I'm going to throw down another missile tower here. Another one here. And then I need to get a radar up. Yeah, I know radar too. Very bad, but we're gonna put the radar here. I still don't have enough cons yet. No, oh, of course. Nothing to prep prep for the bombs. Okay, so this radar, I can't quite tell. It doesn't look like he's in C yet. My wife has returned, but I told her that I would be done by around 11. So it depends. If I lose this one, then yes, I, I can be done sooner, but... Oops, we are out of E. Okay, the other thing that you gotta prep for is Crusaders. That's the trick with Crusaders, is that a handful of missile towers can scare them off. Because they really don't wanna leave the metal Gonna finish up that and then 
throw those out there. There we go. Plenty of e storage now. That makes it. What the reason why I'm building that is it helps. T um, gives me a better opportunity just to toggle. Gives me more time to, to toggle on and off. See, wind has just dropped now too. That's the other thing it does too. I, I can build up storage for when wind decides to take a nosedive. Because I got this nice little wind farm that's not doing anything right now. There we go. Wind's back up. So I turned that on and gave me more time so I didn't access it. This is giving him enough time where he could fast reclaim to get Pels, that kind of thing. We're six minutes in right now. He wouldn't have it just yet. Um, if anything, he's just headed to sea, which is what I'm about to do once I get enough metal. Completely dropped here. Clean these up, get them into storage. Oops, missed. And wind tanked again. <laughs> you can see by by having the e storage, I'm really preventing stalls for from this kind of thing. I have enough missile towers to really get me started. What I'm gonna do here. Oh, that was a big that was a mistake. Start hosing out some sonars. The other thing too you can do to keep Crusaders off you is you get some bombers up. So in OTA I would stack some and have them ready to go in the event of um, in the event of Crusaders showing up and then you get it weak and then you fly some bombers and drop some bombs on it. Um, and then you get a nice little wreck and it's closer to your shore than it is to his. You send your commander out to go pick it up. No shots fired. See, I'm just, this is what we're, we're having our boring ga boring games, or uh, what did I say? Cautious games. Turn those on. Oh, turn it back off. <laughs> Slowly stacking up the resource here. There we go. Big E jump. Plus 20 right now. So the title here is plus 15. It's not that great. Okay, so at this point, nine minutes in, I'm not seeing any action from him in the sea, it looks like. So it's possible he's going air, going hover. The missile towers will handle the hover, um, and if I get my sea up, the skeeters that I produce will too. So I will be scouting him with, uh, with skeets. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come up here and drop the shipyard. I want the shipyard in the bay. That is an important thing. Getting tons of E from the wind, but not using it all. And from these, uh... so you can see how these missile towers here, they just protect the bay. Need a handful of missile towers in the back here for off-screen bombers. You can kind of fly a bomb around here. This part of the island is, is vulnerable. A lot of times people will ring their missile towers. 
and then they won't have um, uh, let's put out a con now let's do one two one two one two three okay At this point, he's not playing for the sea, it looks like, which means I could go for the for the Crusaders, but let's get two up, and then we're just going to go see if we can spy out that max and cause problems. Hmm, okay. That's a nice little free metal deposit for him. <laughs> Boom, there it goes. You can bomb that pretty easy. So yes, it's time for me to join him in the skies. We'll space these out so they are not easily destroyed. Missile tower there. Oops, forgot to turn these back on. I don't know if he saw my stack of cons. There's still nothing there from the sea, so we're just gonna. If he's gonna go air, play this game, then I'll just do this. This is not a, the safest location. It's actually relatively easy for him to come and bomb that. He's got a ton of missile towers. I know I'm not going to be able to really break in. Um, the missile... Uh, what do you call him? The missile uh, hovers are actually really good at taking out missile towers on the shore. Okay. Thing with going air is it does take a bunch of E. You did this. You couldn't. <laughs> All right, let's see what he's up to. Good job, Star. <laughs> he has seen this. Let's see if he can beat me in my own game. Yep, there you go. So he's already advanced. Because I went C, he was able to do that. which I actually want to go advanced soon. All right, we're gonna stop building these. And you know what? I might decide that the sea, that the waves are not for me. They're not. Like to bomb has advanced, but it's 
gonna be easy for him to push in with gimps, but I because it's such a small map, it's actually relatively easy to control the gimps with the missile towers. He missed. Stop those for now. And then we'll push out a few counts. I'll have gimps of my own to deal with it if they become a problem. To get that in case the lab dies. The other thing I want to watch out for too is if he decides he wants to put up a Timmy. Looks like he's kind of slow building his cons. It's going to be a lot harder for him to scout up the front because I have these out here. Give me a fake, please. He's got something up there in the corner, but I don't want to feed him any metal. Okay, so he's probably got a little his own little title farm going. If I had to guess. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five. I might be able to come in off the off screen and tag that advanced. That would be nice. You see, you see that thing moving down there, that little blob on the bottom left. Let me go see what that is. It might be his cons. There's a little opening right here in the middle too. Yep, it's cons and radar jammers for energy. Pause the game. I accidentally nabbed all his cons, <laughs> which is most unfortunate. All right, so you can see I'm able to put out bombers pretty quick. He's not going to defend the sea. Fake comms can now build. They build really slow and they suck at it, but... I'm a little nervous sending this thing in, but... That... Slow they move underwater. All right, you hold up. Okay, what's going on? It's eating. Oh, that's eating. So yeah, he's having a lot of trouble getting in. We'll finish that. Put out one more of these. All 
Alright. Oh, just kids. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Looking for the titles. There we go. <laughs> Gonna come right up here and see if we can detonate all those missile towers from the uh, from the sea. Quick, boost my middle. Sometimes I just cancel the construction to get something like that done. I don't know if you'll see what's coming. I think too is because I don't have a shipyard, he could get um, a sub out. You there, head down here. Okay, so this is the blast radius. It's not that big. He sees something coming in. you see me? I hate it for it to... Oh, it's okay, so there's the sub. Alright, and... And... Attack. Okay, sub's right there. I'm gonna do this first. Actually, you know what? I don't know if he has enough air defense down there now, since I killed it. And I might be able to go in with this. I'm gonna try it. Might be playing my card a little too early. Advanced C and any air defense he's got down there, too. I mean, the advanced air, not advanced C. those. Okay, where's the bomber? Where's my torp bomber? Oh, 
What's up here? Oh man, I hate it when they do this. Take the stupidest path. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had so much trouble with Torp Farmers the other day. <laughs> Trying to snipe with one. Jeez. Alright. See when you have a ton of K back counts, how easy it is to defend. <laughs> so I'm doing some damage, but not enough. All right, I got plenty. Of, I should have plenty of bombers. I don't. But I also have enough of these. I'm gonna scout. sure stay on top of things that a uh, he is bombing now on the south side so I'll black her up okay this is a easy money ooh that's it with no wreck okay good for him Strip. All right, it's team time. All right, I think I actually need to switch to advanced bombers too. Push him out of the sea with subs is the plan. And we will start working on the intimidator.
Okay. Take a peek. Show me what you got. Flak. Air. Nuke. Your building is toasty. Alright. So we've started the big boy down south. It's downside with Intimidators are relatively easy to bomb. So. I did manage to grab the majority of that metal there. Ooh, get out of here, you. Still up. Okay. That takes care of that. What did I lose? I lost my stinking. He probably saw the, um... I'll just throw a few more missile towers up here. Decent horde of gems here. Oh look, let's uh, let's do this again. Da -da 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 -da. And attack. I guess I have enough to take it out, take out that, the flak, but I need to see if there's any other targets behind it. A 
Looks like he brought his enforcers down here to try and deal with my uh, the problems I was causing. Black and that Timmy. There we go, black down. My Intimidator is up. Now it's time to nano block and try and win. Just shoot in here, get Veteran first. That's the goal. and take out his air plant now. Shift down here. Okay. Just for me. Okay, hopefully I took out his airplanes. We'll see. Yeah, he's having trouble bombing off the bottom of the map. Okay. 
Ooh, that was nice. Nice big explosion. All right. Let's keep scouting. Make sure that no nukes or timmies are coming up. like a super veteran now, 48 kills. Nuke is up. We're gonna just, I, don't, I don't think I have the... Uh, I don't think I have the time. I need to bomb that. Yeah, it's behind the hill too. It is gone. <laughs> Switch targets. I need to clean up my markers. stays up. Slowly wearing him down. I think this is it. Oh no! I got multiple subs. Where's my commander? Okay. You are not safe here anymore.
but I still have my torpedo bomber. So. See how good this Timmy is. One, two, gone. Woo! Did it. It made me work. Okay. Ooh, I get Timmy. Timmy for Rorschach. For all the marbles. All right, here's the current brackets, everyone. Moving into the finals. I told my wife to be done at 11, so I may have to be a little bit quiet. I will say bye, but I'll make sure to stream this here. Yeah, two Timmy's to the dome does it. Okay, here we go. I'm excited to check out um, his game with Arc Two on TCP. I bet that's gonna be that's gonna be some spicy spicy goodness. It's been a long time since I've won a no no, so this is my this is my chance here. I don't remember how to play this map. <laughs> I might have a bad version. Okay, delete, download.
I may have done that wrong because it automatically rehosted. Fancy new little auto pause button here. Okay, that'll fix it. I'm struggling, guys, I'm struggling. Oh, I gotta leave this. <laughs> For those two who want to know, the Escalation players have moved over to Total Annihilation Forever. Excellent work, Wing Flyers. So if you want to play some Escalation, TAF is the place to do it. Let's see, it's gonna tell me I have the wrong version. All right, technical difficulties here. There we go, it's installing it. Title's good here, big building's good here, Hawks getting big, everything. So I'm hoping this doesn't go till midnight, because <laughs> then Timmy will be up super late. And well, it will be talking and my wife will uh, probably kill me. Wind is mediocre. I think I do like a mix here. Getting to see fast is good. Yeah, Star, um, being able to, uh, to know just the experience would have helped you there. You actually did the right thing and, and with the K-Bot build, at least according to me. But you were, um, I think I had a little bit more creativity on how I approached it. You know, creativity, just experience. I knew that I could just walk a roach up since you didn't go see and take out your air defense and stuff. Rearrange the build queue here. I doubt Timmy's gonna go air. Hover is nice here. Really helps you get to these islands. But C is king. Winning, you can win the game with C and one island against somebody who has three islands but not the C. Yeah, definitely star. Fun game, good game.
picking up, doing some lumberjacking here. I should build one missile tower just in case Timmy is really going to be a mad lad and do it. Jeez, oh, sure, buddy, take the long way around. is getting water. Doesn't look like his area's not reclaiming nearly enough trees. Fast advance is good here too, of course, because of the advantage of Gimps slash Pels. And it was after 11, so I know my wife is seething right now, so I will um, keep the commentary to a minimum. But if I need to explain something or I want to hop on, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> yep.